Hey, what's up? David Wood here once again for David Wood FX with yet another GIMP tutorial. And this one is editing scripts, which if you're not familiar with scripts, it is a form of a plugin for GIMP, which you can actually write your own and then use them. And they're pretty handy. But sometimes when you download a script, they put them in an awkward place, like this one. Let me show you down here. This one, this lightsaber blade plugin, it basically takes a selection and turns it into a lightsaber blade. And it does a really awesome job with it. This guy Lee, he did a fantastic job writing the plugin. It works most of the time without a problem. Very realistic. And I'll have a link in the description so you can check that out. But one of the things that it does is it when you install it into your scripts folder, it puts it up here in the taskbar under a folder called script foo lightsaber then the actual plugin and I don't like it there I would rather have it in one of the submenus under the filters so I'm going to show you how to change that it's pretty simple and if you don't know how to install scripts it's pretty easy basically go to your computer or my computer whatever it would be the C drive local disk program files GIMP 2.0 share GIMP 2.0 scripts and this is where you would place them um, if you want you can create additional folders in here but this is where all scripts are supposed to go and they're there and so when I downloaded the lightsaber one I've used this many times it's a great plug -in. But I put it in this folder here, this extra folder, and it's right there. And it saves it as an SCM file, which stands for Scheme. So what you want to do is when you install it, uh, put it in that folder, the scripts, or if you want to make an additional folder in there, put it in there. But right click on the t file, go down to Properties, and under Opens With, choose a basic text editor so you can use notepad wordpad um, I'm pretty sure um, Adobe Acrobat might work with it but I am just going to use notepad so I'll click OK hit apply OK and I think this will work on Mac I know Mac does not have a notepad but if somebody could you know send me an email on YouTube explaining how to do this for a Mac then I'll post that up there on the video okay so once you've chosen the uh, program to open it just click on it and when it brings it up here's all the coding language it's a lot of mumbo-jumbo and I don't know anything about script foo really I haven't studied it but I have figured out how to modify paths so instead of having it in the script foo lightsaber I want it to go under filters render that's going to be its new location is down in there okay so when you open it what you want to do is you want to scroll through it until you find this sentence right here you want it to find script foo register and right under that in these little arrows it says image forward slash script foo slash lightsaber slash blade rotoscope that is all there is to it. Just take that and change it to what you want. Make sure that it is, um, make sure you spell it exactly the same. So I want it to go in the filters. So I would change this script foo to filters. And make sure that you have it the case, it case sensitive. Because if you just put that as a lower F, it will make another folder up here, which we don't want to do. So filters, I could make a new a new menu in here called lightsaber but instead I want that to go to render I'll leave the name the same and so now it will go to filters render and it will appear right in here um, one last thing that you want is right below that is a description of what the plugin does so if you go to it and hold your arrow on it for a second it pops up with the menu explaining what the plugin does.
So, if you want to have some fun with that, change it to something ridiculous, like this will make money fall from the sky, and then give the plugin to a friend. And when the friend goes to use that, they'll see that, and they'll go nuts, and they'll start clicking the button over and over and over again, and then they'll sit around and wait for the money to fall. And, you know, you can go, ha, I got you. Or, you, you can sit there for hours on end, waiting and watching your friend, you know, see them waiting for the money to fall. Generally, um, unless it's a good-natured friend, you don't want to do this to somebody who's going to run after you with a baseball bat. I learned that the hard way. But, anyway, moving on. Once that is changed to what you want, go to File, Save, and that will replace the old one. Or if you want to make a duplicate of it, so you don't, so you still have the original, click on Save As. Under here, change the name you want. I'll just call this one Blade. And when, Save As Type, you want to change this from a TXT, which is a text document, change it to All Files. And then at the end of the file name, add dot s c m erase the name there so blade dot s c m make sure that it's set for all files click save uh, I'll minimize that and now it's in there so now what you need to do is take the other one or if you just replace it you can skip this step but it won't recognize it because the plugins do the exact same thing, so you're gonna have to remove the older one. So take the Blade Roto, and I'll just drop that on my desktop, and then it's right there. Now, if I go to Filters, Script Foo, Refresh Scripts, it'll take a second. It'll update all the scripts that are on there. And so now, if I go down to Render, it's right under there. Blade Rotoscope. So that's basically it. It's really simple. Very quick. You know, it only takes you like five seconds if you're fast enough. Or, you know, if you get good enough and you don't have to rely on this tutorial every time you go to change it. So that's just a little bit of what the scripts do. I won't go into coding or any of that stuff because I don't know anything about that. There are tutorials out there. So, if you are interested in making your own plugins, look up that. But, anyway, um, thanks for watching. I'm David Wood, David Wood FX, and I'll see you next time.